Oh, I'm not allowed to cast on live TV, but. We're six rounds deep in the 2023 AMA Supercross season. The 250 West Riders and 250 East Riders have all hit the track. With Jet winning in the West in his usual dominant fashion, Hunter has come out hot and currently holds red plate in the East. I mean, yeah. I'm telling you, if Grandma was out there for a race win, she's going to get knocked down. I'm taking her down. <laughs> I'm sorry. And, you know, she can cook the dinner later, but this is for a race win. And, um, you know, Hunter did what he needed to do. And in my opinion, both of the championships are theirs to lose. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Wade. And you're watching Disney Channel. Oh. And today, I'm here to ask who you think the better Lawrence brother is. To me, it looks like Hunter's a completely new rider this year. Uh, he just looks like he's riding with way more comfortability and uh, way more confidence. Also, the homie Zach at imperativemx.com mentioned to me last night that Hunter is the only brother that has won a triple crown. Now, I don't know if you could say he's the better brother because of that, but you can definitely add it to his argument. They both look damn good to me, and uh, I... Was gonna make a video on who I think is the better brother, but honestly, I don't know. <laughs> uh, who do you all think the better brother is? Leave it down in the comments below, as cliche as that is, but we can uh, try to have some conversations about it. I think you can make some pretty strong arguments for either side, and either way, I'm excited to see them match up. Hopefully, we can get them both out front out of the gate, as uh, unlucky as they normally are to do that. What? I'm a huge fan of both of them. One thing that's pretty cool about both of them is the work that they do with the Moto Academy. You can talk to Jet inside of the app. So if you guys aren't signed up or if you're riders or you want to get better, I don't know, you can do it. Either way, I think both Lawrence's brothers are great for the sport. Uh, they both have great personalities on the stand. And uh, with that being said, I leave you all with this. What a ride. Uh, that was freaking awesome. Uh, well, uh, at the start, once we're on the third, I'm like, well, we got two of the most, the boys that I'm competing with uh, who are the main top ones also with me. So, yeah, got some work to do on the start uh, this week. The whoop section is pretty edgy. The, the rhythms are kind of like they send you a bit awkward. So I was just kind of waiting on mistake. Was, yeah, wow, far out. What a freaking race, yeah. Cameron through the whoops. I, I'm pretty sure because he ended up making a mistake. Like in those, the triple, triple, it's, it might look easy, but it's actually pretty tricky. What a race to have at home. First home race here in Tampa. And uh, I went down to the line. That was just badass. See how with all the cups and then RJ ended up making a mistake. And so I was able to capitalize on that. But uh, no, good night. Just kind of did my did my laps after that. But it wasn't 100% sure. I was sliding, but I'm like, oh, I'll give it a crack. And then I heard him seat bounce. No, big shout out to the lads, HRC Honda. They've been uh, been great. They've been uh, we've been uh, kind of like just going through a lot of stuff today. And I'm like, get over the line. <laughs> wow. And I'm surprised how I still have energy because I ended up throwing up my dinner before, right before the start. I was like, it was looking rough. What?